In SDEF, and therefore in Sketch, everything is measured in a unit called chainage. Despite the name, distances are not actually measured in multiples of bracket pitches, they are in metres. All, way, all railway distances in Sketch are in metres. Distances are measured from the zero point of the engineer's line reference. Because we realise that the zero point is likely in London and not in your diagram, Sketch allows placing a more convenient reference point with an offset. Here, we have placed a reference point which is 100 kilometres along the ELR, or 100,000 metres. Tracks to the right of this point will have trainages above 100,000, tracks to the left will have trainages below. The thing which controls this is track length. Starting at the reference point, each track extends the trainage by a little bit. This is probably easiest to see in the dedicated trainage view. Here, the track is 100 metres long, so it ends at 100,100 metres. If the track were 10,000 metres long, it would end at 110,000 metres. Tracks beyond this point will continue adding to the chainage. We can see this by adding a milepost. The milepost displays the chainage of the adjacent track. This is why the milepost can only connect to one track. Notice the value changing along the track. This is easier to see if we set it to kilometre mode and display the chainage directly. We saw earlier that track lengths add to the chainage. There are two situations where the opposite happens. Firstly, the track may turn back on itself. In this case, the track is going backwards, so it subtracts from the chainage. This is probably easier to read if we flip it. Secondly, the right hand side of the diagram may not be the end with the lowest chainage. If this happens, we can turn the chainage reference around to make it operate in the other direction. Note that it still starts at 100 km, it just increases to the left now. Chainage flows through line breaks as well as the tra track network. And when everything is connected one way or another to the reference, it will show as 100% complete in the checklist. If you only have one ELR in your area, you will typically only need one reference point. Subsequent videos will demonstrate more tools for getting trainages correct in more complex situations, but in principle, everything can be made correct by editing track lengths.